for barricade. now 68 miles from the city. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Everything should be under control soon. Well, marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> How fast is he going? 100 miles per hour. Down. I understand those cars can go faster than that. Maybe he's afraid to go any faster. It is anticipated that the car will run out of gas after 300 miles. Then we'll pick Mr. Hart up. I think I must tell you all that this 
car will not run out of gasoline. In fact, in old gas stations, at the bottom of every underground tank, there are two or three inches of fuel, which the internal pump cannot reach. However, with a bit of foresight and a special pump, it is possible to get the gas and therefore have an almost inexhaustible supply. I know it was going to be like this, it would never have come. I recall you weren't exactly invited. If I had any choice... You had plenty of choice. Oh, yeah? It's easy to break out of there. I end up talking to myself. I was talking to myself. I was a class loon in my own little world. You know something? No one's ever trusted me. Just like you. Oh, spare me. It's true. I trust you. Oh, yeah? I do all the dirty work. Like what? Like pushing the car. Me. Now I'm a hundred pounds plus ten pounds of mud. Pushing a gorilla like you. You don't even trust me to drive. Oh, so you want to drive, that's it. No, it's all right. Well, I was hoping you might want to drive. Excuse me. You're for my wife. I can't 
tell by the look in your eye. I knew she'd stick you on me, sir, a legged, you two-legged bloodhound. How'd you get in here? The door was open. Look, sir, I'm not here on behalf of your wife. You're not? No, sir. Hey. You ever, uh... Ever fly a kite? Did you know Mr. Uh, oh, what the hell's your name? Morley. Morley? That when the Chinese invented the uh, kite, it was supposed to be a way to get you up closer to the gods. Kind of a space shuttle for the soul. <laughs> hey, uh, you want a belt? No. No? No. No? No. Oh, God. I'm going to quit this stuff, too. Right now. Right, right now. Right now. Quit. Captain Williams. Your government needs you, sir. Yeah? The last time uh, my government needed me was the Vietnam War. And listen, man, I flew 138 missions. And I should have come back a damned hero. I've got the medals to prove it. But what did I come back to? A lot of damn abuse. I believe they want you to fly again, sir. You haven't any damn airplanes, have you? They're offering you a chance to fly a jet fighter, sir. Mr. Hawkins. Hmm. Captain Williams to see you, sir. Send him in. Captain Williams, how good to see you. See there, Captain. I see a car and two people. Wow, look at that. Son of a bitch. It's much more than a car and two men. Well, that's all I can see. This man is dangerous. This little joy ride he's on is undermining the entire balance. Sir, uh, this is just one car. I mean, a little exhaust isn't going to upset the whole balance of the universe. You are missing the metaphor. Uh, 
Does it matter who? I am talking about our entire way of life, Captain. We live in a society that has the greatest tranquility ever created by man. Furthermore, this society is more protected than any other in history. And do you know why? Well, I figured... Because of the system. <clears throat> the system of our existence which has been worked out so perfectly. In fact, it is that system which dispelled the desperate quest for the impurities contained in mobility. The mobility which had driven this nation like rats scurrying in every direction. That led us nowhere. Nowhere! Now, we have removed that addiction and brought order and tranquility the two most fragile flowers in any civilization. <laughs> and this man is full, is defecating on those flowers, staining the natural hygiene of our society, and tampering with the world's most perfectly balanced system. Uh, what do you want me to do about it? I don't know about you, Mr. Hart. Maybe you're getting too old for that kind of driving. It was ridiculous the way you came barreling down on that guy on the road, driving like a maniac, swerving around at the last possible moment. I don't know. Maybe your reflexes are going or... Maybe you're just trying to show off for my benefit. Well, I've never been impressed by that kind of childishness, so you're wasting your time. <laughs> Call me maniac, huh? Here, here's a towel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me back. Uh.
Hawkins, I think it's a bit extreme to send out a jet fighter. Madam, uh, miss, extremism in the defense of virtue is no vice. Well, I have another plan, and it's in effect right now. In that area, there is only one road that they can stay on, and at the western edge of Pennsylvania, they will be stopped by a roadblock. It's a good idea, madam. Come on, you get behind here. Frank, look at this. What is it? Satellite hookup. Probably communications with the people in the control room. We do. Hey, you think this stuff's still any good? Nah, it's been sitting here since before you were born. That's too bad. Thank you. 
Perhaps we can get down to business. Control, Eagle One, passing over Pennsylvania. What's the latest? Eagle One, this is Control. Uh, we've lost them temporarily. I believe they're on the other side of the Kansas border, over. Roger. We'll find them and we'll catch them. Dark soon. Are you cooking tonight? I did it last night. I know, but the beans were terrible. Sorry. I'll open the can if you'll cook. <laughs> All right. You do the dishes. <laughs> I'll wash and you dry. What did you do besides race cars? Hmm? Did you hear me? What? I said, what did you do besides just race cars? Well, I uh, play the clarinet. I'm serious. You're always serious. <laughs> I can't help it. What else did you do? Uh, I had a family. Do you have a son? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Would he have been as old as I am? A little older. You know, you've never told me anything about your own family. Oh, I haven't seen much of my parents. Why not? What's the difference? Nothing I ever did was good enough. So I finally stopped trying. Or caring. <laughs> 